And I'm Gabby. And we are 27 Travels. And if you guys have been following our last few videos, we've been on a road trip throughout the United States. And right now we are leaving Wyoming and doing a nine and a half hour drive to Nebraska. Oh my God, nine and a half hours is crazy. I still cannot believe the channel is about to drive nine and a half hours. I mean, we're gonna have to take some breaks, right? Probably, <laughs> and get some coffee or something. We're gonna be listening to a lot of podcasts. A lot. We never thought we'd be into it because we're not exactly podcast people, not especially. Exactly normally, yeah. Yeah, especially me, but it's really good and it's been really entertaining while we're driving. So we are going to head to our car now and pack everything up and then start our drive to Nebraska. So one thing that we really like about driving through Wyoming is you're not on the interstate the whole time, which is usually just like the main highway that goes from state to state. You don't really go through any towns or anything. But in Wyoming, there really isn't any interstate. So you're actually going through some small towns when you're, you know, on the road. And we drove through so many cute small towns and it's so nice to like pass through and like see some of them. Yeah, it's nice to actually see the places you're driving through. Cause I feel like sometimes when we travel, you know, we're on the highway the whole time and we just don't see anything. We just see like landscape, which can be beautiful too. But it's nice to see the places where people are actually living nearby. That was a very long day of driving and a very boring drive. It's just very like flat and nothing really Blah. to look at. <laughs> but um, we actually found a restaurant that has amazing vegan options called Block 16, like four blocks from our hotel. So we just went and grabbed takeout because we're not doing seating right now, obviously because of the pandemic. So we brought it back to our hotel and we are going to eat it, but they had such amazing vegan options. Like it was incredible and I cannot wait to try the food. We got some local Nebraska beers. Yeah, we love trying beer wherever we are while we're traveling. So we were like, we need to get some Nebraska <laughs> beers. <laughs> and I'm actually letting Gabby eat on the bed. I never do this at home because I like don't like messes and stuff. But at a hotel, I guess it's fine. <laughs> it's only our bed for one night, really, when you think about it. This is great. I got um, a dragon burrito with seitan. And I think that's this one. But then Gabby got a poutine burrito, also with seitan, which is this one. And then we just cut them in half so we can try both. <laughs> we thought, why not? Once why we couldn't not? figure out which was which, we were like, let's try both. Is it so good? So good. Mmm. Do you like that one? The poutine one's really, really good. Which is your fave on first bite? I think the poutine one is a, little, oh. a, bit, a bit more my style, but. Okay, well good that we shared then, right? <laughs> And what are these, Shan? These are a lote fries. Like a Mexican style friend tried that. We've never tried before, so we're like, hey, why not? Because they make it vegan. We will try anything if it's vegan and delicious. <laughs> So we decided to come to Saddle Creek Breakfast Club and it's really, really cute here. Um, they have a lot of vegan options for breakfast. They had a vegan biscuits and gravy on their menu, but they actually said that they don't have it today. So I was like kind of upset because I really wanted to try it, but they have a lot of vegan options and that's one of the reasons why we chose to come here. So we're gonna try the food and let you know what we think. But so far, I'm digging it. You got huevos rancheros, right? Yeah, I got vegan like rancheros, which I've also never had before. So, so I guess it's a good consolation yeah. prize, right? <laughs> and not vegan banana pancakes. <laughs> but I really had cramps today, so I needed something sweet. <laughs> finishing up in Omaha right now and then we're going to do like a two hour ish drive to Des Moines which is our next destination but um, I didn't bring my camera for some reason I think I was just being like oh you know like we're just gonna walk around really quick and then we're gonna head out but we actually found like this really cute area called Benson Omaha I think it's like a neighborhood of Omaha but it's like really cute really trendy there is a lot of like Black Lives Matter mm -hmm. and like rainbow flags and stuff so for us we felt like really comfortable walking around here yeah there was a 
lot of like super cute thrift stores. We even got like a mirror for our apartment back yeah. home. We were like, wow, this is awesome. And we walked into this cafe um, called Dripped and Drapped, I believe it's Drip, called. Dripped and Draped? Dripped and draped. Draft. We don't know how to say it. No. We don't know how to say anything. <laughs> but it happened to just be a black owned business. We're like, oh my God, this is so awesome. So I got a turmeric latte. And I got a matcha latte, which is really, really good. And it was such a cute place. Could not recommend going there more, honestly. So now we're going to head to Des Moines. staying at in Des Moines and this is literally one of the nicest like hotel rooms we've ever been in. 100%. It's so beautiful in here. I was literally like we could live in here. This is enough <laughs> space for us. <laughs> the layout is so awesome and they have like such like really unique like furniture and stuff but yeah we love it here and since it is the pandemic we are planning on spending a little bit more time in the hotel room than we normally would usually we are we only come to our like accommodation to sleep and like that's it but because you know we're trying to be as safe as possible we are going to spend a little bit more time here so it's really nice to have like all this extra room and stuff yeah and it's nice to have a space where you can just like relax it feels homey you can like eat at a table and there's something like so nice about yeah. that <laughs> but one thing we did want to mention is that hilton is doing a great job of like staying clean and sanitary and stuff they actually have this program called the clean stay program and like right when you walk in there's a sign that like tells you all about it and when you walk in your room there's like lots of things like telling you like how they sanitized it and what they did and stuff like that so we are really happy here thank you so much hilton for hosting us we love it here and we're kind of sad we're only staying for one night honestly <laughs> left us these little gift bags so we are going to open it and see what's inside. Go ahead Gabby. The confetti paper is my favorite part already. <laughs> so I, oh, I'm going to leave yours so you can yeah, open the Yeah, leave mine. Only open yours. <laughs> Aww. There's a cute little mini bottle. Oh, champagne. Maybe we'll have that tonight with dinner. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I love Des Moines. We do already. We've we... only been here for like 10 minutes. Mm, snacks. It's like Gummy they know bears. we need snacks. There's also a kind bar and another little loaf and oh a cookie. My God. Wow, Yum. that's a lot of stuff. Thank you so much, Hilton. Thank you so much, Hilton. So we are walking around downtown Des Moines right now. And one thing we and Gabby noticed is like we like to walk everywhere, obviously, because we're from New York City. But sometimes when we go to a new city, we like we're like, oh, it's like really close and we try and walk, and then we're like the only people walking. And everyone stares at us and we're like, do people not walk, walk? here? <laughs> so we're not sure if maybe people don't walk here in Des Moines or not. Maybe if you're from here, you can let us know because we're the only ones walking around. Yeah. <laughs> just us, just us. We are at Papa John's Park, Papa John's Sculpture Park. We we feel like it's not named after Papa John's Pizza Place, but we just cannot stop thinking about that. No, so we just keep calling it Papa John's. <laughs> but basically, it's like a park with like a bunch of sculptures in it, we think. I mean, it's our first time here, but we're like walking around. And there's a bunny. We see a bunny. It's a bunny spitting or crying, and I'm not sure which yet, but I'm excited <laughs> to find out. What happened to it? What happened to the bunny? It's probably a cancer like you. Ow! Hey! Ah. Hey! Yeah, looks like you. That crying bunny fountain was not in the sculpture park. We are like one block away though. <laughs> it was not Papa John's sculpture park. We just got excited to see Papa John's sculpture park, but so it was not. <laughs> we're actually going there now. <laughs> All right, so clearly it is named after these two people, John and Mary Papa John, not after Papa John's pizza. How do you know that they don't know the Papa John? I don't. Maybe they know each other. Maybe they're Papa John's cousins. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, that you can immediately tell that you're in the Papa John's sculpture park. So Shanna and I just did not know what we were we're talking just, we're about. We're just dumb. It's like a lot of sculptures in a small park, so <laughs> it's pretty obvious that you're there. <laughs> the title of this sculpture is marriage so we're thinking open relationship you can see right through it but there's a box around it mm. just saying gabby went to art school guys she knows what she's talking about sometimes Oh, 
<laughs> Whoops, there it is. <laughs> dinner which is an all vegan burger joint how cool is that and also we didn't think it was too expensive we were like please come to New York please keep these prices we're so excited to try this <laughs> so I got a like barbecue style burger Ooh. this is what mine looks like and Gabby got a spicy volcano burger oh, I have to try some spicy there's a fried onion on that fried onion I downed that burger and the fries. It was so, so, so good. Gabby's still finishing her burger. Hers is spicy, so. It was so spicy. I love spice, but I'm like, wow, this was spicier than <laughs> I predicted when I ordered it, so it might take me a little longer. Today, we are leaving Des Moines and we are doing a 10 hour drive to Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> so long, literally. It's really long. But um, that was the best way we could figure out how to get back, so that's why we're doing it. But we really loved Des Moines so much. It's probably one of our favorite like cities that we visited on yeah. this trip. It was really awesome. We loved the room, the Hilton that we're staying in was awesome, and just like walking around this town was really, really nice. Yeah, so we definitely need to come back and spend a little bit more time here because we got here like a little too late, so we couldn't really go to like a lot of the shops or things that were around but yeah it was amazing here and we cannot wait to come back one day <laughs> so we're gonna end this video here because we have a 10 hour drive which we're probably not gonna be able to film that much and then we will resume when we get to columbus ohio tomorrow so thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and watch all the other episodes in our road trip videos and we will see you in columbus see you in columbus bye, bye.